On his work to gather data from sensors in a forest outside the city of Fairbanks, geophysicist Vladimir Romanovsky stops at an area spotted by deep pits and trenches. From the completely flat, completely flat area, which it was before this melting of ice, became very, very uneven, and that's very typical uh, surface after degradation of ice ridge permafrost. Rising global temperatures are increasing demand for the hands-on study of permafrost temperatures, especially in circumpolar areas where both homes and critical infrastructure, such as the Trans-Alaska pipeline system, are built atop permafrost. Unfortunately, uh, permafrost in these regions uh, it's usually in the lower uh, slopes and the, uh, and the river valleys and places where people live. So there's lots of ice which um, make uh, thawing permafrost really dangerous for any kind of infrastructure. In Arctic villages, buildings stand on stilts to avoid the heat from the house melting the permafrost below. Utkiagvik resident Eben Hobson often resorts to makeshift solutions. Underground, there's solid ice. And under the ground, during the spring, when it melts, that the ice melts, and that that that's why there's all like little potholes in the in the uh, street. And during the spring, the house uh, shifts down. We lift the house up with a jack, or j j just like one little jack on, on on that spot of the house, and we we level it to make the house. Be level and straight. In Alaska, scientists are collecting permafrost temperatures from more than 350 sites, ranging from the surface to 100 meters below ground, measuring factors impacting thawing, such as precipitation. You really need to know where permafrost is most stable, how long it could be stable. You cannot rely on kind of traditional knowledge because what's happening now in the environment it was not observed any time during the lifetime of the population here, you know, not for the last uh, many thousand years. Romanovsky says Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine disrupted collaboration on permafrost research between the countries, from regular data sharing to the intended joint study of the craters discovered in West Siberia, most likely created by violent explosions of methane released by the thawing of permafrost. It's a big hazard. And also it's a very interesting scientific question. So we don't have anything like this in North America so far, as far as we know, but it could happen. Even 20 meters below Alaska's north slope, Romanovsky says temperatures are up 3 degrees Celsius. Engineering solutions exist for countering thawing permafrost, but each comes with price and questions about how long they will hold if temperatures keep rising. Natasha Mosgovaya, VOA News, Fairbanks, Alaska.